recently I had the unfortunate experience of my powder scale breaking on me and it wasn't really that old, maybe two and a half years of intermittent use, so I was pretty disappointed. And it also broke at a terrible time, which was right before prairie dog hunting season. I'm not entirely sure why it stopped working, but it just stopped throwing charges altogether. Maybe I'm complaining too much over a $300 scale, but still, I swore that this would never happen again. So I went shopping for a new scale. There are a ton of great options out there. Everything from budget picks to lab-grade equipment. After my last scale failed, I leaned towards the premium side. The Super Trickler, the McDonald Auto Trickler V4, or the Ingenuity system. These high-end tricklers are worth every penny, no doubt, but I didn't have $1,100 to $1,600 to drop on a new setup. That's when I stumbled across an open source powder trickler called the Open Trickler. This thing can be built by anyone with a soldering iron and a 3D printer. It was originally developed by a Discord user named EA Mars, and thanks to the open source community, it's evolved into a seriously versatile tool. All in the trickler cost about $75 to build. Pair it with an A&D FX120 scale and you're looking at a total of around $660 before tax. For me, the biggest draw to all of this is repairability. If I break any of these parts, I can just 3D print them on demand for almost no cost. And if any electronic component fails, I can swap it out for no more than 15 bucks. Cost isn't the only win here. If tuned properly, this trickler is perfect for fast bulk reloading thanks to its pre-charge feature. It has a dedicated compartment with a servo gate that throws a rough preliminary charge. When the cupper turns to the scale, the gate opens and drops the bulk charge, followed by a precision trickle to top it off. After some powder tuning, here are the results from 10 consecutive charges using Vitavori N540 with a typical 223 load of 24 grains. Our fastest charge was 6.8 seconds. The slowest charge was 10.12 seconds. The largest overthrow was 0.04 grains. The largest underthrow was 22.96 grains, giving us an extreme spread of 0.08 grains. Considering each kernel of N540 weighs 0.02 grains, that gives us an accuracy of plus or minus two kernels. Now, I don't really have a reference for how good that is since this is only the second scale I've ever owned, but it seems solid to me. If any of you have kept data on your own tricklers, I would love to hear about it and see how it compares to the open trickler. One feature I really appreciate is the control interface. You can run it from your phone or computer via Wi-Fi or stay offline and use the physical controls. Now, if you're a ball powder user, I wouldn't recommend the setup. There are a few surfaces inside the trickler that tend to trap trace powder, which makes cleaning a bit of a pain. I use 100% extruded powder anyway, so that's not an issue for me. If you're interested in building one, check out the Open Trickler GitHub for instructions, code, and SDL files. Let me know what you guys think of the Open Trickler and whether or not you'll be adding it to your reloading room. Until next time, thank you.